So, out of these two photos, which one? Oh, sorry. Which one do you think is the female nipple? Obviously this one. Obviously this one. Why so? It's censored. They always censor <laughs> female female nipples. Uh, the censored one. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Why do you think that? Uh, because female presenting nipples are not allowed. If it was more socially acceptable to be naked, would you guys do it more often? I wouldn't go naked, but I think it should be more socially acceptable for photos and stuff of naked people to be around. It's not a problem with a naked body. It doesn't have to be sexualized. Why do you guys think the male nipple is not censored? Um, well, I think it's... let me think. I honestly don't know. I think it's more of like a gender inequality thing. Okay. And I think it was probably perpetuated in like our history and it's just continued through. From a sociological standpoint, I mean, it is a... We do live in a male-dominated society, so I mean, uh, the idea that males can be a bit more free is probably one major part of it. Hi, my name is Alana Konohowski, and welcome to Unzipped. Are you excited to host the season of Unzipped? Oh, super pumped. I can't wait. Um, I feel like there's a lot of not correct information out there. People rely on Google a lot, and that's not necessarily a good thing. So Unzipped is a sex-positive show that encourages open and honest and healthy discussions about sex. We sat down with some amazing women from Naked Girls Reading to talk about body positivity, community, and being naked. My name is Keely Kamikaze, and I am the producer of the Calgary chapter of Naked Girls Reading. My name is Coco, and I have been doing Naked Girls Reading since April of last year. So my name is Jamie D. Tucker. I often perform under the name JD, and I've been involved with Naked Girls Reading for almost two years now. Uh, my name is Anime Alexander. I started doing Naked Girls Reading on last year on Women's Day. What Naked Girls Reading is, is essentially a, a literary salon where women uh, or non-male identified folks can come and become naked and read in front of an audience. It's very simple. And what we really aim to do here in the Calgary chapter is normalize non-sexual nudity. It's a funny thing. If you see a nude man in a lot of films. I think it's changing more as I'm growing older. Um, it's funny and it's like usually just a butt. Usually if you see a naked female it's sexualized and you see and with dudes you tend to see all of them like head to foot or, or whatever. You see their heads with women you might see a breast <laughs> or you might see a butt they're not always focusing on our faces. It's like we're disembodied, weird bits and pieces. It doesn't feel good. A lot of people think that if you're naked, that is sexual, and it's not. Think of breastfeeding. It's so normal, so natural, so beautiful, and not sexual in the least. Um, naked people don't have to be having sex. I can cook dinner, but ass naked. I can have sex with most of my clothes on. So being naked really has nothing to do with sex. Something that people realize when they come to one of our shows is that like, it's the titillation and the anticipation of the nudity that really draws people. But then it's a bait and switch. So they come to a show, they want to see the nudity, and then you forget they're naked within about 30 seconds. And it really just drives it home that nudity doesn't always have to be sexual. Sexuality is a state of being versus a state of body. I read a newspaper article about um, all the kerfuffle about the naked swim, um, and there was a mention of, well, there's girls, naked girls that read, <laughs> and I thought that was really interesting, and the next show was the Women's Day show at the Globe, and I went to that with a friend of mine, and I said, this is it, I'm going to put my name down for this, and he said, no, you're not. I sure did, and I was reading the next month. I showed up with all my makeup and my hair done and this massive spa robe made of terry cloth and I was petrified because I was there with three burlesque dancers and a stand-up comedian and media personality and I was the only person who had never been on stage before. And 
one of the girls came up to me and she said, are you okay? And I told her, I was, I'm, I'm terrified. I, I'm so scared. And she was like, it's going to be okay. Don't worry. Deep breaths. You're going to be fine. And I was, it was, it was amazing. Not nervous to be naked, not nervous to be reading. Um, I was going through hard menopause from a drug I was on. So I was really nervous about hot flashes. <laughs> And I had a lot of them that day, so I'm like, I'm just sitting there going, <laughs> you know, you're airing out everything. It was really funny, but it was what it was, and I was like really worried I was just going to start melting on stage. <laughs> it took a long time for me to be comfortable in my own body. Um, society still says that I don't deserve to love myself because I'm a plus size woman. I'm supposed to be thin and pretty so everybody can look at me. I'm not here for your enjoyment. I'm here for me, and I don't care if you like me or not. <laughs> you forget that you're naked after a little bit. About 30 seconds into being on stage, you forget that your nipples could cut glass, and you just feel very powerful. Everyone is looking at you, and they're laughing at your jokes, and it feels powerful you feel like a hundred feet tall the community is like so amazing around naked girls reading um there's this beautiful sense of empowerment that you get when you get bodies of all shapes sizes colors abilities on one stage it's a really great small community of like-minded people uh, body positivity and feminism and fighting for what's right and changing the way that people think of nudity or sex or just being on stage in general. Well, first of all, you're addressing two of the major fears, nudity in front of people and public speaking, which basically you're getting them both over in one go. Um, but what people don't realize is that when you're up there and you're naked and everyone's looking at you, if you've ever been downtrodden or something's ever happened to you that's taken your power away, this is your chance to take back that power. Keeley provides such a beautiful, powerful space for women to be empowered in. It's, a, it's amazing. And the fact that she lets me come back time after time and do this is also really, really nice because this show gives me something to work for. And it gives me something that I'm proud of. I'm really proud of my involvement in this show and seeing all the girls up here. Sorry, I, I'm getting a little emotional, but I love seeing women come up here and their back straighten and their voices get louder and more steady. And they're so beautiful. They're so beautiful. And this show is unlike anything else because of that. It makes everybody feel powerful and beautiful. So our next show is March 8th, which is International Women's Day. And what we're doing is it's going to be a fundraiser for the, inter or not the international, sorry, the Calgary's Emergency Women's Shelter. So um, there's going to be a silent auction. 100% of the door proceeds will go to the shelter as well as the proceeds from the silent auction. We're going to have some readers, some, some draws, some special events. It's going to be wonderful. And this one will be at the Wild Rose Brewery at 7 p.m. on March 8th. For more information on Naked Girls Reading, you can check them out on Facebook here and on Instagram there. And cut. <laughs> I'm so kidding. <laughs> we can keep going. Yeah, <laughs>